Through two games, we have not seen a lot from the rookies, save one who has really started to pop uh, in his first two games of NFL action, and that's Kyle Duggar. Evan Lazar is down in Foxborough covering the Patriots. They get to play the Raiders on Sunday. And Evan, definitely a couple plays, certainly coming downhill uh, as, as a blitzer where he has really blown some people up. You see the athleticism and physicality uh, in Duggar's game so far. What have you seen looking at the tape so far? Well, he's definitely a physical downhill hitter, right? This is a guy, he threw Damian Lewis, the right guard for the uh, Seahawks, backwards on that sack that from Jace Winovich and Derek Rivers. Later on in the game, he had another blitz where the running back and blitz pickup got him airborne, you know, just coming downhill and blowing him up. And then against the run, he actually got the center again, went right through uh, the uh, Seahawks center, to, right to the ball carrier to make a tackle against the run. So the downhill plays are really amazing. I think that that's what the Patriots definitely need out of that second level of the defense. At this point in time, just looking at the personnel that they have at linebacker, they really need to unlock Kyle Duggar and let him eat. You know, just let him go sideline to sideline, use his athleticism, uses his explosiveness as a weapon and I think a good guy to sort of model him after we didn't see him in this role a lot against the Patriots because he's more in coverage but in that week one matchup against Atlanta go watch Jamal Adams and how the Seahawks used him near the line of scrimmage on blitzes playing against the run in the box that's the type of guy that I think they need Duggar to be especially this and year. I've heard that Jamal Adams comparison a lot which is you can live with some of the missteps because his playmaking ability and his physicality and his ability to just blow up plays is what's going to make up for everything but how has Duggar been so far uh, just in space and in coverage and assignments and, and, and back there? That's always going to be a concern with a rookie, particularly one who didn't play major college football and who hasn't had the benefit of a preseason. How has he looked to you there? Well, in man coverage, he's been a little bit grabby, which is something that was carrying over from his college tape in the Senior Bowl. The Patriots actually out in training camp had oven mitts on his hands, trying to prevent him from grabbing on to receivers and using his hands too much in coverage. So I know it's something that they're really focused on and working on with him, but I was really impressed with him in space, you know, covering on zone drops and things like that. There was one play where the tight end kind of got into a, a soft spot in the zone. Might have been a little bit of a bust by the underneath zone defenders. Russell Wilson, though, was on the backside. It was on the backside of Wilson's read. He was looking at the other side. Duggar didn't overreact to it. He then got Wilson on the rollout and there was a guy running across the field behind Duggar and he retreated and had great just field awareness of the receiver trying to cross behind him. So field awareness, instincts from deep, those are things that you really look for. Patience, you know, not overreacting to the bust in front of him and kind of playing his role and doing his job. So I think it, from in terms of him playing up top, you know, split safety coverage is deep or post safety, even if they want to go there, a robber roll in the box. Very comfortable there. Very comfortable attacking the line of scrimmage. The man coverage stuff, I think they can work out with him.